As part of our coverage for Black History Month this week, we celebrate the Daughters of the Movement, women following in their father's footsteps as leaders, activists, and change makers, helping to shape a better community. Tonight, we recognize Gina Belafonte, daughter of singer, actor, and activist Harry Belafonte. National correspondent Lauren Magarino explains how the actress and producer is doing much more than just entertaining audiences. Harry Belafonte is the king of Calypso. I may sail on many a sea, her shores will always be home to me. Finding a home in art, but also activism, using his platform to elevate the voices of the disenfranchised. Okay, do you fear for your life? The world witnessing his contributions to the civil rights movement. We are the, the creation of the hit charity single, We Are the World. I give you Nelson Mandela. And the anti apartheid movement, to name a few. Contributions his daughter, Gina Belafonte, says have become a family legacy. She is adding to. My grandmother told my father, if you haven't done something in your day, to combat injustice or to face it and call it out head on, then you have wasted your time that day. Gina Belafonte spent a decade focused on prison abolition and gang intervention and later became the executive director of Sankofa, a social justice nonprofit she founded with her father. The word Sankofa is Ghanaian and translates into this philosophy. You must reach back to reclaim that which is lost in order to move forward. So it was poetic when surrounded by birds, the symbol that represents Sankofa, Belafonte walked me through her efforts to reignite the activist tradition. We need to seize the opportunities to reclaim, claim, and invent the narratives of our people, of marginalized people, and the arts is the most heart-opening way, I think, in which to communicate these messages of hope, these, communicate these messages of political consequence. Artists often say to me, what can I do? And my answer to that would be, what are you willing to do? We began to reach out to artists to see if they would be interested in having a conversation to see how we could as a collective come together and begin to raise awareness around the issues of mass incarceration, around the issues of immigration, around the issues of income disparity and poverty because we were seeing how poverty is consistently criminalized. And then we took on the overall banner of violence because we also knew if we wanted to have a, a real community and network of artists, some people were going to be into eco-violence, food deserts, climate change. So we wanted to have a broad enough space where artists could come and they could really, without filter, express their frustration and to help work out and strategize with them how they could begin to connect themselves to the things that they were passionate about but didn't know how to do it without alienating their fan base. American dream, American man to Take Usher. He turned to Sankofa for support with connecting his music directly to social justice action. The nonprofit's efforts also extend beyond celebrity. One of its latest projects uses virtual reality technology to help incarcerated men and women in California facilities work through any traumas or triggers before returning to their communities. We really want to use art as a tool to um, help educate folks on what's happening in their communities. And it's just been a, a really amazing opportunity for us, and it's our 10th anniversary right now, so I'm really excited about the work that we're doing. My father also is turning 95, and it's just a wonderful celebration for us this year. And Sankofa is primed and ready to continue that legacy. Lord Magarino, Newsy. Los Angeles. Well, remarkable work she's doing and in celebration of both 
Harry Belafonte's 95th birthday, as she mentioned, and the 10th anniversary of Sankova.org. Gina Belafonte is hosting a star-studded fundraising event called the HB95 Benefit in New York City. Proceeds will go toward the nonprofit and its projects. So keep that in mind.